Hey guys, welcome to Ellie's channel. It is time for my weekly, monthly detox that I normally do. So this time I have decided, instead of doing just a bunch of random juices, to do just lemonade water. And the reason why I have decided that is because I feel that each summer, I eat a lot more nutty stuff or I don't necessarily stick to fruits and I feel very full and just not emotionally well balanced, as you can say. And I found that whenever I do a fruit fast or just a juice fast with mixing different drinks, I don't feel as good as I normally would if just doing something very refreshing like the water, like or just the lemonade fast. I'm not doing water fast just because I have a lot going on this week and I need a little extra energy. I don't want to go into a full detox mode, which I'll probably do a month of next month or the following month, depending on how our travel plans work out with everything going on. But a little bit about the lemonade fast. So remember how we talked about Dr. Morse's pyramid and how he had the mono fruit meals, then we had the juices, then we had the mono juices, then we had the lemonade fast and then water fasting. Well, this is a step below the water fasting and what it consists of is water, lemons, cayenne pepper, and a sweet nerve your choice. What I normally use is either honey or agave or maple syrup, just depending on what we have at the house. So yesterday we went blueberry picking and I have honey. So that's what I put in mine. And I use a gallon, a half a gallon jug. I fill it up with water and about two and a half large lemons. And I'll show you guys how I do it. Do a little bit of pinch of cayenne pepper and just a tiny little bit of honey just to sweeten up the water, not much at all. So I drink that throughout the day. And it's so funny because I've talked about this before with any other fast. When I put my mind into fasting, I'm actually not hungry. So it is about two o'clock in the afternoon and I would have already had a meal otherwise, but this is the first time that I actually want to put something in my body. I've had water throughout the day and tea in the morning, but this is my first cup of my lemonade and I feel absolutely amazing, which I always do during my fast, but I'll keep you guys updated on an everyday basis just to follow up if there is anything wrong. And like I said before, I do like to do these cleanses because it makes my body feel so much better interstitially, emotionally, and of course physically. And it recharges me. So I know sometimes it's really hard to get into the actual fasting, but once you do guys and you've done it for a longer time, there is not that many detoxification um, problems that you're going to have, not that many healing crises that you're going to have and your body will just thank you for it. If you guys need any information whatsoever on fasting or how to get into it or more of why I do it and how I do it, please comment below and I'll be glad to get back with you. Okay, so today is day two of my fast and last night I went to bed really, really early. I think I fell asleep before the kids around 7.45, which I normally don't go to bed until about 9.30, 10 o'clock. And, um, I was tired of slept through about six o'clock in the morning and I'm having a really tired day. I'm not sure if it's because the weather, it's supposed to rain all day, so it's not sunny and bright outside, but I, it's, it's a good day. It's a great day. It's just probably a, a detoxifying symptom and I'm perfectly fine with it, letting it all go. I'm blessed I have the time right now to stay at home and listen to my body and I'll probably just lay around the house, do some reading, do some researching, spend some quality time with the boys, maybe watch a movie and see how tomorrow is. Hey guys, so it's day three and I had a very long day today. I felt absolutely energetic throughout the whole entire day. Um, I took the boys to a gym camp, went grocery shopping, ran some errands and then I took them to a park afterwards and they got to play. It was extremely hot, so I hydrated myself. I had about a little bit over half of the gallon that I normally make of the lemonade and I had about a half a gallon of water throughout the day and tea in the morning. And I feel just absolutely fine. It's about 6.37 o'clock, so I'll be going to sleep soon and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Day four of my lemonade fast, and I absolutely feel great today. Me and the boys are playing some um, board games, and then we're gonna go outside and play in the pool for a little bit. I have a lot of energy, 
and I feel absolutely amazing. I stole the bank. You stole the bank? Robber, robber. Oh no, no, no. Hey guys, day five for me on the Lemonade Fast and I feel incredible. And I wanted to talk to you guys about the benefits of fasting. I know to some of you this may seem a little bit too much or an inconvenience of your lifestyle, but any kind of fasting helps. And not only eliminate fast or water fast or intermittent fast, whatever fast you can accommodate in your daily routine, it's better than not fasting at all. Your body needs to cleanse. We tend to put so much crap into our bodies essentially that every once in a while we need to fast. And yes, we naturally fast from the time that we go to sleep to the time that we wake up. But if you can extend that fast a couple of hours or limit your eating a couple of hours before going to bed and making those eating periods shorter, that is such a tremendous change for your body and you definitely see results within. And I always feel emotionally well balanced during, during a fast or right after it because it cleanses you not only internally but it also cleanses you many different levels and it has been a tremendous difference in my life to be able to fast and if it's not within your lifestyle to fast for long periods of time most of everybody can do an intermittent fast a couple of days throughout the week or if you want to try something more like a water fast or a juice fast Monday through Friday and still hang out with your friends and do your social events on Saturday and Sunday that is still so much better I mean if you do that once every three months it's not that bad and if you have that mindset to be able to push through and at first it's going to be hard it's never easy starting off a fast especially if you eat the American standard diet that is so saturated with fast meats and carbs and everything else in between that but if you're a more conscious eater or if you're more plant-based then it's not going to be as hard but always expect healing crisis in the beginning of a fast if you haven't been fasting for a long time so that's what I wanted to say today. If you guys have any questions at all about fasting, please go ahead and comment below because I love, love, love to answer questions about health and not that I don't like to answer questions about anything else, but health is my go-to thing. I absolutely adore the subject and can say so much about it. I can go on rants for hours, but I'm not gonna waste your time here. Just giving you a daily update and I'll see you guys tomorrow guys so day six here with my lemonade fast and I am doing fabulous there's absolutely nothing going on today it is a very rainy day and we expect some either hurricane or a tropical storm to come through so we will be home for the next couple of days and I may extend my fast just by a couple of days depending on what our travel plans look like but I'll keep you posted and see you tomorrow Day seven of my fast went great. There was really not any changes. I did have cravings. Again, for some reason, I'm craving something crunchy and something salty, but I'm also having to fix a lot of food for the boys, so that may have something to do with it. But seven days, wow, it went by really fast. This fast has been absolutely amazing, and you can do any fast that your body needs or wants, depending on what you're used to. You can do just a fruit fast or a juice fast or a water fast and listen to your body. If you guys have any questions, please go ahead and comment below and I'll make sure to get back to you as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and do that now. Don't forget to turn on the notification button and drop a like. See you guys next time.